At Walking Mountains, we have a lot of books about nature, and we have quite a few favorites. Here is our favorite book about adaptations. It's called What Do You Do With a Tale Like This? by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it's used. What are these adaptations? What do you do with a nose like this? Can you guess whose nose these belong to? If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. Hmm, what do you do with ears like these? Can you guess what animals these ears belong to? If you're a bat, you can see with your ears. That's called echolocation. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. A hippopotamus can close their ears underwater. And if you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds that are hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. And if you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you can break off your tail to get away. And if you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. What do you do with eyes like these? If you're an eagle, you can spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. Can you do that with your eyes? If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. And if you're a horned lizard, you can squirt blood from your eyes. Whoa, why do you think the lizard would do that? What do you do with feet like these? Huh, do you recognize any of these feet? If you're a water strider, you can walk on water. If you're a blue-footed booby, you do a dance. If you're a mountain goat, you can leap from ledge to ledge. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. What do you do with a mouth like this? If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow things that are larger than your head. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an anteater, you can capture termites with a long tongue. And if you're a pelican, you use mouths as a net to scoop up the fish. What great adaptations. Thanks for listening.